Uh oh, this is a common complaint south of the U.S. border, whether you're in Mexico or Central America, that uh, you'll get pulled over. The cops will have a checkpoint, they'll pull you over, and they will just claim that you did something wrong back on the road a mile or two back, and there was no cop even there to see anything, <laughs> and uh, you get a ticket. And that's what happened to uh, Kurt and Snow there as they're traveling through the wonderful country of Nicaragua. Snow, Snow and Kurt. I always get whoever's name's first wrong there. Snow, Kurt, Kurt and Snow. Anyway, they're traveling through Nicaragua. They get pulled over at this um, kind of police checkpoint with a bunch of other cars. And then the guy comes up and says, well, uh, you did an illegal pass. Uh, he passed somebody illegally a couple miles back there, and Kurt said he didn't, <clears throat> and the policemen really had no proof of anything. They weren't, didn't even seem to be there, and they were asking for $200, $200, or else you get to be a ticket, and then you got to go to court and all this other stuff. You know, that, that's a common thing down there, you know, in the south of the border, so to speak. Uh, you know, police will pull you over, and... As a, a gringo tourist from the U.S. of A. or whatever, you know, you might just think, oh, I'll just, you know, pay the fine now and get done with it. 200 bucks. Anyway, Kurt um, walked out and chatted with the police officers and managed to talk his way out of the fine with, I think he had like a bag of cookies or something. I don't know. And uh, they eventually got tired of arguing and took the cookies or whatever. It was some, a bag of some sort of food or something. He took a tama couple of tamales or whatever. Anyway, and so, yeah. So be careful, though. That is a problem if you are in many of those countries, Mexico and Point South. Uh, the police will pull you over for no reason and say you committed a crime and want, want some moolah, dinero. What do you say? Anyway, also, uh, Kurt and Snow, Snow and Kurt's, um, uh, their air conditioner conked out, which is not good in a vehicle in Nicaragua any time of the year, and they did get that fixed. And, and what was interesting was it was loaded with cat hair. They have this wonderful cat that loves to sit on the dashboard there, and uh, apparently the, uh, the, the coolant system, whatever, the, the, the fan recirculates, recirculates the air, brings it all. That thing was just covered with cat hair. So, uh, yeah, be careful about that. You know, you'll have a cat hair problem if you are uh, driving around with Kitty on the dashboard. Oh, yeah. Does it get any more beautiful than Utah? I don't know. Beck's cat herder. It's always a, a nice surprise when a new video of hers pops up. Continuing her travels through Utah. And uh, some good, so just some good uh, ghost town shots and some beautiful nature. And uh, some, yeah, so it's, all, it's always a good video from uh, Bex. And this is no exception. There she is. Bex Cat Herder. Always check her stuff out. Yeah. Hey, we saw a video there from Ed uh, Nomad Ranch there the other day. There's a, not, there's a fire burning up in the Flagstaff area not far from Panda Land. Panda Land is, we're not going to dox where Panda Land is. Pandemonium owns part of the property with Ed and Sue and a couple other people, Bruce and a few other, whatever. Anyway, uh, we've talked about Panda Land a lot in the last few days. But anyway, there is a fire there burning near there. There, Okay, 100, 1,400 acres, parts of US 180 are closed. Uh, it is consumed, yeah, 1,400 acres since it began on Monday, which is, let's see, today is the 9th, uh, that was the 7th. Uh, they said U.S. 180 remains closed, uh, according to a tweet from Grand Canyon National Park. You can you get from I guess Phoenix or guess from get to get from Flagstaff to Grand Canyon National Park. You have to take a detour. All right. Anyway, so yeah, the fire was approximately 23 north miles northwest of Flagstaff, and it could be seen from Panda Acres. Okay, that is according to Ed Ed's video there. Uh, from Nomad Ranch. They apparently Ed said the fire, the, the wind was blowing the the smoke away from where Panda Land is. However, uh, the wind could change and they might have to leave if that happens, but so far. The fire started on Slate Mountain and was reported at 3 a.m. on Monday by a local sheriff's officer. So, um, all right, so there's other fires that are also burning east of Phoenix and north of Tucson, down in the south eastern part of the state, but this is the first one we've heard of recent times burning up there in the northern part of the state where it is very
dry, not so hot in, in Flagstaff, but very, very dry. And a ambulance man is continuing repair on his uh, ambulance there as he's parked at the family place there in uh, somewhere up in New York. I think in Rochester somewhere. We're not going to dox him. Don't worry. Uh, we got uh, Re RV Rebel Girl. Oh, my goodness. She is uh, heading for Niagara Falls. That's a nice place to be in the hot summer weather. Oh, yeah. More ghost town stuff from Wonder Hussy Adventures. Spending a night in high desert ghost town. She just bought some land there in uh, Death Valley area. So, uh, yeah, she's uh, busy, been busy, 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 huh? All right. New one here from Graham Cracker there in Bryce, uh, Utah. He said uh, he's got a tracker that he tows on the back of his vehicle, which has, you know, can get around in that and whatever. Anyway, I don't know what happened exactly that something went bad with the transmission. Maybe he was towing it in gear when it shouldn't have been in gear, whatever. But now it's not running right or it's not running and he's got to get it fixed and he needs some money. So he said he's going to go down to the Grand Canyon where someone is going to hire him at, a, I think there's a glamping tent camping, a glamping tent manufacturer. But he's not going to be doing the tents. He's going to be driving a vehicle around, picking up mail, and maybe doing some housekeeping work at some of the properties there. So a hardworking guy, Mr. Graham Cracker. He needs some money for the uh, to get his uh, tracker fixed. And uh, he's going to work. He's going to get to work. We got a new one here from Louis the Grumpy Trucker who said that, uh, you know, that money he founded, he found in a, in a canvas bag, right? What was it? A, a backpack about a couple weeks ago there, somewhere in uh, northern Arizona or somewhere, southern, I think it was in Arizona somewhere. Uh, he did turn it into lost and found. He said he had a couple hundred dollars and it. it looked like it had more than that. And he did turn it into a lost and found at that area, wherever he was, and he did the right thing. So that's all we know about that. Uh, oh, no, a nightmare at Thousand Trails. One anchored farm. Fam, excuse me. One anchored fam there. They got 53,000 views of this, and they only have 1.76 thousand subs, so they went kind of viral, huh? What, what do you do when you're pulling your vehicle in? They have sliders, slides, you know, sliders on the side of their RV. Uh, what do you do if, uh, if you're backing into a, a place, a campsite, and somebody uh, who has a neighboring campsite really uh, raises holy hell about it and is not very nice about it and all that other stuff? And uh, I don't know. The picture they included in the evidence here shows that they got plenty of room before the edge of the, the campsite there, even with their slider out. So I don't know. If I was a judge, I'd say whoever got upset about the sliders there being too close to the property line or whatever of the campsite is uh, kind of um, a little too um, not nice. <laughs> it's another thing, crowded campsites. You know, lovely, friendly neighbors. Oh, yeah, that's uh, Camping 2021. Ah, let's do a few letters here for the 9th of uh, June 2021. Ice Fishing Man says, Watching Nomads is not enjoyable anymore. Nothing but boring drama or don't visit me. I want privacy. And nobody is really traveling. Yeah, people are not traveling and they want to be kept, they want to be left alone when they're sitting there doing very little. The opportunists and the drama king and queens taken over. And the money people. Now, don't worry, yeah, we're, we're monetizing every damn inch of our channel, right? Carla Green says, if you are on YouTube, your life is not private. Duh. However, people who watch have to realize that it's just entertainment, in all caps, like TV. <laughs> I think this is my 800th time that I have said this. Use your brain. As, that, as Mr. Linescrew Andy there up there in Canada says, it's YouTube. It's not real. At least most of it isn't. Ricky says, uh, Ricky in Arizona says, who just shows up at someone's property uninvited? Going 50 miles out of your way is not a pop-in visit. Have some decency. <laughs> I don't know. You know. It's true. Don't go just popping in to visit somebody. And, you know, call them ahead of time and let them know you're coming and make sure that, you know, it's just proper etiquette. You don't just knock on someone's door. Hey, we're here for a visit. Call them ahead of time. Let them know you're coming and let them know if that's okay. It's true with any kind of visit, whether you're a nomad or not. You just don't knock on someone's door and say, we're here. <laughs> no! AC Dutton says YouTubers, like most public figures, want all that 
all the positives that come from being well known or famous, money, fame, etc. But they don't want to deal with any of the negative stuff, regardless of how great the job is. Every job has its negative aspects. It's very, very true there, Casey. Frugal Aquatics says I should put a disclaimer in my video descriptions that the comments below are not endorsed or necessarily the views of the creator. That's not a bad idea, Frugal. Maybe I should do that. All right, that ought to do it. Thank you so much for watching uh, Letters and More on the 9th of June, 2021. Thanks for watching. You have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday. Vlog under.